Welcome ladies and gentlemen, and here we are finishing off our lesson on 1.3 similar triangles. Now remember, this first side of the page we've already done with two videos, and they are on post number seven, I think. Flip over. We're going to now do example three. In the diagram, DE is parallel to AC. So this line is parallel to this line. What that means is we put these funny looking arrows on them, which means that they are parallel. And the question is asking us to find the length of AC, which is here. This is the length AC. So when we see something like this, the first thing that we should notice is that there's two triangles there. There's the big triangle, ABC, and there's a smaller triangle, DBE. Looking at those triangles, it should become obvious that they look to be about the same shape, but they're different sizes. So what we want to do is prove that. We want to prove that they're similar. Well, if you remember in grade 9, there was that Z pattern, F pattern, and C pattern. Do you remember that? Okay. Well, if you don't, it looks like this. When we have two parallel lines, and when those parallel lines are intersected by a, another line, that line's often called a transverse, but remember we taught you that you could find a Z pattern and that this angle would be equal to that angle. And we taught you that you could have a backward Z pattern, so that this angle was equal to this angle, yeah? Oh, very good. Supplementary angle theorem, complementary angle theorem. Kind of, it's kind of like those. In this one, this is actually TPT alternate. If your teacher didn't use that, they probably called it the Z pattern. So that's the Z pattern, and you can see it by making a Z this way, and you can see it by making a backward Z this way. And this, what that means is that the angles on alternate sides of this transverse, which is what that line's called, are equal. Now there's also the F pattern. Remember they taught you to look for a F. There's an F, and this angle equals this angle. They also taught you to look for backwards F's. So here's a backwards F, which meant that this angle is equal to this angle. They also taught you to look for upside down F's. An upside down F might be here. Going that way. So here's my upside down F, meaning that this angle will equal this angle. And we played with that for a while. So there was the Z pattern and the F pattern that we played with. Now the C pattern was the one that was in between. And that's where you had this angle and this angle. And they added up to 180 degrees. So back to our question. We have two parallel lines. And there's your transverse. So this is an F pattern. This angle is going to equal this angle. And here's my backwards and upside down F pattern going this way. This angle will equal this angle. So what we know is angle D equals angle A. What we know is angle E equals angle C. So if I take a look at this triangle that I have, in triangle ABC, the big triangle, and the little triangle DBE, I know that angle A equals angle D. I know that angle B, they both share the same angle for angle B. 
and I know that angle C equals angle E. What that means is all three corresponding angles are equal. That's the very definition of similar triangles. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DBE. How do you know? Because you've proven angle, angle, angle similarity. That's what that means. You've shown that all three corresponding angles are equal. So, so what? Who cares? Well, you do. You care because as soon as you know that they're similar, you know that AB, the first side, divided by DB, must equal BC, divided by BE, which equals AC, divided by DE. And that follows because they're similar. So because they're similar, their side length ratios have to be equal. Okay, who cares? Well, let's put in what we know. AB, this length here, is going to be 48 plus 12. DB, is just going to be 48. BC. I don't know that. BE. I don't know that. AC. That's what I want to find. DE is 36. So what I have here is 48 plus 12 is 50, 60 over 48 equals, don't know this one, AC over 36. I can solve for AC, which is what the question asked for. All I have to do is notice that the AC is being divided by 36. The opposite of division by 36 is multiplication by 36. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 36. I'm coming down into the bottom part of this solution. I'm running out of room, but that's okay, because I'm in my last step. 60 times 36 equals, divided by 48, equals, AC equals 45, and what's my units? Centimeters. And that is the entire question. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's be very, very clear here. There's two parts to this question. There's part one where you prove that the triangles are similar. You need to do that. You need to show me this work. And then there's part two. Where you use the side length ratios to solve. This is a big question. There's a lot of marks here. I'd say there's two marks here and at least three marks here. So it's a five mark question. I'm going to pause the video here and we'll be right back.